But a health news, it seems too good to be true. A simple and inexpensive treatment for one of the most dreadful conditions around, sepsis, also known as blood poisoning. Sepsis kills about 250,000 Americans a year. Lori Johnson introduces us to the doctor who stumbled on what appears to be a cure and the patient whose life he saved. Valerie Hobbs spent a lifetime crocheting blankets for people in her church and feeding the homeless. But then she came down with sepsis, and when everyone thought it would take her life, she was brought back from the brink of death. I feel blessed. I don't say lucky. I tell people I'm not lucky because I didn't win a lottery, so I ain't lucky. I'm blessed because God could have took me. He got me here for a reason. They keep doing the stuff I do. Valerie was patient A, the first to receive an experimental treatment for sepsis that worked. Sepsis is the body's reaction to an infection. It usually occurs in people who are hospitalized. About a quarter of a million Americans die from sepsis every year, making it the most common cause of death among people who are hospitalized. Valerie was about to become one of them. Dr. Paul Merrick, Chief of Pulmonary and Critical Care at Eastern Virginia Medical School, treated Valerie in the intensive care unit and knew her outlook was grim. When you see a patient dying, you can tell she was dying. He told her daughter to prepare for the worst. I just broke down and cried. Just broke down and cried. Recently, Dr. Merrick had been reading about the healing powers of vitamin C and just on a hunch gave it to Valerie intravenously along with hydrocortisone to reduce inflammation. You know, I went home not expecting that she would survive. The next morning when I came to work, she was off the blood pressure medication and she was off the ventilator two hours later and actually left the ICU three days later. Um, so it was quite astonishing. Since then, Dr. Merrick has treated over 150 septic patients the same way. Time after time, they survive. This is quite miraculous in that patients who are critically ill, who are at death's door, when we give them this very simple combination of medications, it turns around their septic process and within hours they significantly better. Um, so, in a way, it is a miracle. <laughs> News of the so-called vitamin C cure for sepsis is sweeping the medical community. The reaction? Mixed. Some people think this is the coolest thing in the world. Um, others think this is complete BS and that this could not possibly be true. Those skeptics are waiting on a large randomized study before they'll believe. But, you know, my argument is, is that it's so safe you've got nothing to lose. It's also cheap. Good news not only for America, but more so for poor countries. Worldwide, sepsis claims 8 million lives every year. Lori Johnson, CBN News.